Hello, everybody. I am Brian T. Bradley, nationally recognized asset protection attorney and author of the number one best-selling book, Overexposed. And today I want to quickly talk about a topic that is very crucial for many families, especially as we navigate healthcare and aging. And this is just going to be a quick video. And the topic is going to be about Medicaid planning, you know, and more importantly, qualifying for Medicaid when we have assets and particularly when we are past that five year look back period, we can't move assets now or we'll be disqualified from receiving any benefits. But, you know, mom or dad or loved one, maybe yourself needs to get into a long term care facility and we, you know, want Medicaid to pick up the bill. And as we are, you know, aging, the likelihood of requiring long-term care increases significantly. You know, that's just the reality of it. And unfortunately, the cost associated with this care is just overwhelming. And more often, you know, than not, it leads families to the brink of financial disaster. You know, the average cost of long-term care is $15,000 a month. And, you know, the average stay in long-term care is 2.8 years. So we're talking about just under half a million dollars in three years. That is, you know, generally your entire legacy going to the long-term care facility instead of your kids or your grandkids, your church, you know, or your favorite charity. So just think about it. The cost of, you know, one, one month's stay is almost equivalent to the most prestigious local college in your area. And even though you may be able to afford the cost, you know, out of pocket of long-term care, the question in that situation is, why spend all that money and have it go to the care facility instead of your family when you have the tools that you can qualify for Medicaid to pick up the bill and you'll still be receiving the same level of care that you want in, you know, in the same long, long-term long care facility or just having Medicaid pick up the bill. I don't think anybody grew up saying, you know, gosh, I really want to work my butt off and have everything that I worked my entire life so hard for to go to long-term care facilities. No, you know, generally people dream about working hard, leaving a legacy and keeping their wealth and passing it on to whoever they want. This is where Medicaid planning becomes essential. Medicaid is a you know government program designed to assist individuals with limited financial resources in covering health care costs. But most people are unaware of how to navigate the rules and eligibility requirements of this program effectively. And there are lots of legal requirements. So, you know, make sure that it's done right. And you really should be talking to an elder law attorney for this. Just not any attorney. Most won't understand this area of law as a specialty area of law. Um, effective Medicaid planning helps protect your assets and it ensures that you can receive the necessary care you need and that you want without exhausting your life savings or placing an unnecessary burden on your loved ones. It's about creating a roadmap that then is going to align with your financial resources and your health care needs. And one of my favorite tools that I use in Medicaid planning is what's called a Medicaid compliant annuity. Now, most of us, you know, and even many attorneys have never heard of this term. And we may be wondering right now, like what exactly is this? Well, Medicaid compliant annuities are financial products that can actually convert a lump sum of money that would make you ineligible to qualify and receive benefits from Medicaid into a stream of income while you're you know, able to now become eligible for Medicaid benefits. By using a compliant annuity, you can reduce your countable assets, which is crucial for meeting Medicaid's um, asset limits. So here's how it works. You would invest a certain amount of your assets into a specific annuity that is compliant with Medicaid. So again, not just any annuity will work. And in return, you're going to receive regular payments over that time, which can help cover your living expenses or your health care costs during that blackout period. What this strategy does is that it allows you or your loved one to immediately become eligible for Medicaid. And this strategy allows you to preserve some of your savings, you know, for your loved ones while you're still immediately qualifying you um, for Medicaid assistance. Now, the way elder law attorneys like myself can assist you and your family with this process, we calculate the amounts that need to be transferred. We calculate your burn rate and the duration of the blackout period and how long to purchase the annuity for. You know, we have to set up our um, legal documents here for you, like estate plans and trust, and guide you through the complexities of Medicaid planning. And more importantly, just qualification, especially when we're in the crisis planning zone. 
So together we can assess your financial situation and identify the best strategies tailored to your specific needs. This really comes down to just countable and non-countable assets and specific timeframes. Medicaid planning is an essential component of healthcare needs. And the more we understand the tools and our options that are available to us, the less likely we are to jeopardize, jeopardize our uh, financial stability and legacy. So if you have any questions or you would like to discuss how we can work together to create a personalized Medicaid plan for you, or you need help accelerating your Medicaid eligibility, please feel free to just reach out at brian at btblegal.com. And please go to my website. I use them as educational forms, um, www.btblegal.com. And thank you for taking the time uh, to listen to this and learn.